everyone, it's Sarah here, your Aussie Adjima, and today I'm going to bring to you my favourite K-dramas. Enjoy! So this is the first video of a three-part series. I'm going to be joined by Veronica Salgilna, who is a fellow K-influencer, and we are going to discuss three of our favourite K-dramas. Now, this video here will be the first K-drama, and we're going to answer some questions. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy our first, the first instalment of our favourite K-dramas. Just letting everyone know that there may be some spoilers in this video. Um, Letting you know, be wary. Okay, drama. That's a little hard one, but I think I'll go with three, Descendants of the Sun, because, you know, it's iconic. So, my first favourite K-drama is definitely Vincenzo. I love this drama because it speaks of a uh, Consoglieri, I think it is in Italian. Um, he's an author, the main character is an orphan from Korea who gets a new family in Italy but then returns to Korea when his life is in jeopardy. So even though the main character of Vincenzo is uh, Song Junki, uh, he plays his character very well. My favourite character was actually not him. <laughs> so, the, my favourite character was played by um, the actor Im Chulsu, and he plays a security, like the international security agent. Every single drama I see this actor in, I am absolutely blown away. <laughs> He's one of the best actors. And I just want to shout out to you, but I like this character because he, he goes in to start off with um, really suspecting Vincenzo. But it's a classical don't judge a book by its cover because when, as he, um, he gets to know Vincenzo, he actually starts to really like him and just wants to be his BFF forever. <laughs> and he's just... He's just hilarious. Every time I'm just even thinking about like different things and it just um, it's hilarious. But no, he's he's good. My favorite scene in Vincenzo is uh, the scene where Vincenzo um, he had to pretend to be um, gay to bring down a bank manager. So just watching him ride on a horse and um, just doing what he does is just, the, it's the funniest scene. You ha it's probably the one that sort of sticks in my mind because he's just, he's finding it difficult to um, pretend to be someone he's not, but he, he does an extremely good job of that. And like the character, the two characters, they just, they just click. And it was, it's just a really lovely scene. I actually chose these three dramas as my favorite because they had the best ending that I could ever ask for. Our Descendants of the Sun, they struggled a lot throughout the relationship, so I would definitely want them to be happy at the end. So yeah. In regards to Vincenzo, uh, how it ended um, was actually, uh, without going into too much detail, ended quite well in my eyes you know justice was served um, I don't think I would have ended it any other way uh, but it was yeah it I think it ended fine uh, part two Descendants of the Sun a lot of people talked about a part two for a long time fans waited for a part two but it never came and I don't think there's ever gonna be a part two or a season two for Descendants of the Sun and I think I'm happy with the way season one ended and I don't think there should be a reason for season two because if there is that means there's 
more problems in their relationship and like I said, they've already struggled a lot so I don't think I can see them struggling anymore. As far as season two goes, uh, I don't think there could be a season two. I think they pretty much nailed it with that one, one season. Um, again, without going into too much detail, unless there was another thing that they were working against, then they could probably have a, a season two, but I think it would ru ruin the original. Thank you so much for watching the first instalment. What are your thoughts on these two dramas? Comment below and check out Veronica's uh, YouTube channel. And have an amazing evening. Annyeong. Vincenzo was released in early 2021 by the TVN network and ran for 20 episodes. This drama is available to watch on Netflix and the main cast are Song Junki, John Yobin, Taekyon, Kwak Dong Yon, and don't forget my favourite, Im Chul Su. Vincenzo is directed by Kim Hee Won and written by Park Je Bun. Descendants of the Sun was released in early 2016 with the KBS2 network and still available to watch on Netflix. It stars Song Junki, Song Hyekyo, Jingu and Kim Ji Won. This drama ran for one season with 16 episodes and directed by Yi Yungbok, Baek Sang Hoon and Yu Jong Sun. And this drama was written by Kim Eun-suk and Kim Won-suk.